Scooby-Doo, Season 11, Episode 2, The Mystery of the Haunted Penis. You ever thought your dick had a ghost? There was a time back in, uh, was it, I believe, uh, 2000 and 2009, because it was the yeah. year after I graduated high school. Right after 9-11. Yeah, it was actually it was September thirteenth because it was that actually happened to be on a Friday. Yeah, it was a weekend. And I remember I woke up, and I was I was taking a nap, and I woke up, and I was I was fully hard, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And then like as soon as I woke up, I just it was like not a lot. It was just a little bit of squirt per us uh, sperm squirted yeah. out, and I was like, "Oh sh- oh shit!" It's like ectoplasm. Yep. And I was like, "There it was." I'm like, "There was my Your my ghost. penis haunting." Yeah. Did you ever have one? I still do. Oh, you have them all? <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, the thing is, like, my mom, she <laughs> bought a bunch of sage because she walked in the room when it happened. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, no, we're not going to have this happen again. Not again, yeah. And so we... Not after what happened to your father. She saged the house, mm-hmm. and then she saged my nether regions. Yeah. Yeah. And then she said, like, Did you're probably never going to have be able to have, like, a... Like a sexual relationship with anybody ever again. Oh. My mom once actually said to me once because I didn't want to. I never liked dressing in front of them. Mm-hmm. Growing up, it's just weird. Yeah. I, I, it's just weird, and I never wanted them to see me in my underwear. She's like, you know, you're never gonna have like an intimate relationship with anybody. I'm like, I'm one eight, two, <laughs> yeah, two. <laughs> I like. I, just because I don't want to. You're my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I want to fuck you. What the hell? I don't think say that. Now. That's very Freudian of her. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like, because sh- you can't be naked in front of me. You're never going to fall in love and have a good time with it. With a female. Ever. Anybody. You actually. can't have a good time with your mom. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm like, what the Come fuck on, dude, are you, you talking know about? You, Parents you are weird dumb, beard. dude. But Aaron, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm not bad. I'm pretty hungover still. Yeah, I heard. It's like ten thirty. How am I? How how? Yeah, how are you still, dude? I don't know. I I like take care of myself when I'm drunk too. I'll drink a ton of water. I'll brush my teeth, like wash my face, take my contacts out, take Advil mm-hmm. before I go to bed. It doesn't matter anymore. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Like I uh, I had a Sunday fun day this past weekend, mm-hmm. and. I drank I drank like a beer, oh, yeah. then I drank like three drinks with tequila, Oof. and then I drank like four beers after that. Mm. I only threw up once, like eight beers. and I had a <laughs> uh, I had a pretty bad headache. I actually took Advil, took two Advil, <clears throat> yeah, went back to sleep, woke up, felt great. It's yeah. weird. Well, I think because um, I take Advil thing? every time, which isn't probably not good, but uh, I think my body's like, you need to take like ten Advil next time. <laughs> Which will kill me probably. It will, it will ruin my liver, at least. Kidney. Yeah, and probably the rest of my brain. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know. You don't know. You never know. You never know. I should just like smoke weed before. Yeah, smoke that weed would make or me feel better. It's gonna or it's what it's gonna do. It's gonna at least make you feel different. Different. Yeah. Which would be better. One hundred percent. Oh, I mowed my grandparents' farm uh-huh. today for the first time in like two years. That was good. Was it like time. one of those like, is it you, was also like a saying goodbye to your parents or to your grandparents kind of thing? Well, kind of. I mean, I'm gonna be oh, yeah, back. You're gonna be next back week. like the next yeah. week. Yeah. So like, my grandma doesn't live there. She lives in a home now. But um, uh, we're gonna go visit her next week. She's up in like Gower. Like, oh, really? She's all the yeah. way up there. Yeah, it's like a good place though. It's like secluded. That's what uh, I think. That, like my when my grandmother was passing away. Mm-hmm. Uh, she lived up in Gower for a while. Right. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It was hard seeing her. It's hard. She's seeing doing her. fine. Y'all, she, yours is her brain's like <clears throat> fine. That's just her. She she can't use her shoulder. Like her shoulders like separated. Oh shit! Because she was a farmer for her whole damn life, pretty much. Yeah. Um. So she's just like it's finally catching up to her. Hmm. Uh. But yeah, her brain. She's all there. Like, and she'll forget. Like every now and then, she'll call me Gavin. But everybody's done that their whole lives. You I've know. never once called you Gavin. That's true. I mean, like, family. <laughs> My mom does it constantly, and she has seizures now. <laughs> wow. Her brain's, like, got holes in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Drugs are cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good start. I know, no, right? <laughs> yeah. Get it. 
Bra, bra, go, go say hello to your grandparents, people. If you got them, uh, cherish them while they're while they're here. My grandpa uh, is fun to talk to. He's an old farmer dude. Uh-huh. He's like fucking probably on his way out. He's had cancer and uh, oh, what's it called? A uh, fucking pacemaker for like half his life. It's crazy. My uh, I think my brother-in-law, my sister's re- most current husband, mm-hmm. uh, what uh, has one of those pacemaker? Like a big old like yeah. lump. Right there, yeah. Yeah. He, he had like a heart attack and shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm like, good God, dog. You're yeah. like, you're not that old. I know. What the fuck happened? You can like, have him young, dude. I know. Fucking, you remember Johnny Gomes, baseball player Johnny Gomes? Mm-hmm. He played for the Royals for like a second. Um, He had a heart attack at 20. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. And he was like, he's like a fucking athletic trainer. Mm-hmm. And that's what his major was, I think, in college. So he was in shape. This happens sometimes. This happens. Yeah. doesn't matter. Sometimes it's genetic. Yeah, which is great because my dad had a heart attack two years ago, <laughs> and I take very good care of myself. <laughs> you got absolutely hammered last ah! night. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, I got blitzed. Yeah, terrible. so before we had a pot, we did a podcast yeah. last night. Uh huh. And that I was already four deep. Yeah, you. So you're four. We did it. So you went. You drank four beers before you're here. Two here. Two here. Oh yeah, and then you went and drank some more. Then we went to the apartment. Dayton, little Dayton, hung out. He's twenty-one uh-huh. now. He can drink. Um, he had a couple. Threw back a couple. He he played. Tried to play ping pong or not ping pong, but pinball. I mean, really. We went to a pinball bar, yeah. which is the one down the street from us. And I don't he, imagine him being that good at it. Well, he didn't understand it. Yeah, he was like, "What's what do I get?" Like Nothing. You get the satisfaction of having fun at a pinball game. And you uh, maybe the high score, the highest. That's score. what I said too. It's like, yeah, you could get the high score if you want. It's like, oh, this sucks. Like, it's not a fucking Chuck E. Cheese, you little idiot. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. This sucks. This is fucking cool. Suck Pinball all. rules, dude. Yeah. Come on. What have the, fun. What's... People fucking like, stay at that bar just all day playing pinball. It's crazy. I mean, like, it's the things with those things, I can get really addicted to it. Mm-hmm. Like, I had, like, a pool. Remember when I had a pool table in my yeah, room? Yeah. I played that thing every why day. Why not, dude? Dude, why? Yeah, if why? If I had a ping pong table? Yeah. All day. All day. All day. You put that fucker up halfway, halfway play and against the wall, and hit it, and just hit it against yourself. Yeah. Whew. Whew. I'm getting hard thinking about it. So, my ghost is coming out right now. So you know that I talk, you know the girl I've been talking to, uh-huh. like she uh, is really good at tennis, and her cool. mom was really good at tennis, and so she's like, we go and play tennis. That's great. And I get like, I get pretty fucking intense with it, and it's you're a, yeah, you're an athletic. Yeah, it's uh, fun. Uh, it is really fun. What's the word? Uh, competitive. Competitive. Person. Yeah, and she because like the first time we played, she's like, "You're getting really intense." I'm like, "I'm having a lot of fun." She's like, "It doesn't seem like you're having fun." I'm like, "I'm having so much fun." <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not. You don't get a lot of chances anymore in yeah. your 30s to do that. Yeah, to do that kind of shit. You do, unless you're in like a rec league or something, which would be a dream of mine. Mm-hmm. I'd love to play rec league baseball. Dude. But when I'm like when I'm playing her, I'm like, I look over there, I'm like, "Well." Mm-hmm. This this park is not that far from my house. I could definitely add this to my oh, morning routine. Oh, one down the street. Yeah, yeah, that place rules. And well, no, we played at other ones, but yeah, yeah. there is one down there. Yeah. I'm like, I could definitely like come down here and like hit it against like sure. going to one of the racquetball courts mm-hmm. and just practice hitting the ball against the wall. Yeah, and, so you can beat your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you want, <laughs> and then you can break up with her. <laughs> uh, Mission conquered. Mission accomplished. And done. Uh, Sports are awesome. I know. <clears throat> They're the best. Really fun. I, wonder, I, 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 I envy people who who don't like them or yeah, don't even are indifferent about them, mm-hmm. not necessarily don't like them. They're just like, oh, yeah, I never played. And like, then that's what? it. That's like, it. Hey, yeah. They, never it's played. never like, oh, I wanted to. I just never did. It's always. It's just like, oh, no, I just never did it. I had other things I was doing. Usually it's like they play guitar or they're in a band or something. Mm-hmm. Or they're like artists. I don't know. I would love to not care about something s- kind of trivial like that. Mm-hmm. But like, I, I, I get I so it. like, cause like tomorrow started football season mm-hmm. and I am absolutely, my, my dick is so deep in it right now. Yeah. Cause I'm, I, it's just the most fun thing that in the world for me. I'm, I was, I'm always more excited about college football. Yeah. I used to be like that too. But then like, I, it got to the point where like, Oh, I'm older than these people like sure. significantly. And yeah. it, it's weird for me now. Well, what are you going to think when you're like in your forties watching the NFL? I think I know it's different. Thing? It's different. Cause it's, well, oh, for Tom me, it's Brady a little different. That's true. Tom Brady <laughs> will be playing still. <laughs> He's 51. Uh, but for me, how I look at how I can separate it is because it's these the, are the most the professional. Yeah. The pinnacle. Yeah. So these people like could be anything. Sure. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm like you're an adult adult. 
adult, adult, double adult. And especially in football, they don't yeah. allow you to play unless you're a certain age in the yeah, NFL. You have to be over 18. You, well, no, you have to have at least two years of college football. Sure, but some some kids like uh, that uh, Okoye from like back in the day oh, went yeah. to like Louisville, I think, mm-hmm. got drafted in the first round by Houston. I think the, no, no. He was a DN. Okay, yeah. He I was played, thinking uh, he didn't do anything. He was like a kind of a bust, but he got drafted when he was like just twenty because he he was from somewhere in Africa and he was super smart and like leveled up, mm. you know, and finished high school or college early. I think he went all four years. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but uh, oh, did you see this? Uh, uh, an entire college team has in, has an endorsement now. Are I think you it serious? Was Georgia Tech. I can't remember which team. Really? It was, but yeah, every all ninety players or whatever. Good for them. I know. I knew that would happen. Good fucking for them. And yes. c- yeah, of course it was. Of course. And c- can you think a university's not going to like It's so unfair. You know, it is. It's, it's crazy unfair. Like, oh, the walk on's fucked. You know, like, fuck, come on. Just like, give them all money. Fuck. Yeah. It's well, cool. Guess what? Now they are. I know. It's great. You, talking about football and money, you want to hear a really funny story that yeah. came out? Well, I guess it's not really funny, but it's kind of <laughs> fucking crazy. Remember Clinton oh, Portis? I saw. Yeah. Do you so see I didn't this read shit? About this, but it was like a healthcare. Yeah, fraud he thing? did a healthcare fraud. It was up to like I think ninety six thousand. That's how much money he was. So he's it was, a millionaire. And it's like it's not like it's a small <laughs> amount of money where the government wouldn't be like, mm. yeah, like it's a, a, a hundred thousand dollars. Good chunk of change. Like, you're expecting the government not to be like, what are you doing with that? He's a fucking millionaire. Uh-huh, why does but, he want that? Why does it? Why? Yeah, he's being faced up to ten years. He Crazy. he gets his, I believe he gets uh, sentenced in mm-hmm. January, January sixth. Wow. Um, but yeah, him He's and two other players. He's not gonna get any play, any fucking prison time. No, he probably he, yeah. he'll get probation. Probation and have to pay a fine. Yeah, and like maybe have to do house arrest. Yeah, something stupid like that that they always get. I Dude, s- I <laughs> fucked a girl in the butt yeah. when she was on house arrest once. <laughs> <laughs> John Clouser, everybody. The man there, right there. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, we have uh, Adal- Ad Alberto Mondesi on the Royals, right? He's okay. like the most talented player we've got for a few years. His dad, Raul Mondesi, played baseball and was pretty good for the Dodgers and some other teams. Um, he became the mayor of their hometown, and now he's in prison for 10 years because of like uh, – <laughs> Like racketeering or fraud right. or some shit, something crazy like that, and those guys are like fucking heroes down there, right? That's why he got, you know, elected. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking Raul Mondesi, <laughs> guy hit like forty home runs one time, and now he's and in now prison. he's in prison. They don't they don't fuck around with that shit, dude. That's like you're you're in. Mm-hmm. There's been so many players that have done fucked up shit. It's crazy. Baseball players are kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you think out of all the sports, which one do you think? All, like, Well, okay, so the reason I think that it happens with baseball players is because there's always just more players. Mm. It's a 25-man roster, but there's also the 40-man roster, and there's minor leagues, which are fucking, like, there's a thousand minor league teams or something. There's a ton of them, right? Right. And they're all, all these baseball players. It, it requires, the I guess, football, you need 11 players, but um, baseball, you need all these pitchers and football, you know, everything. I think it happens. It's just a numbers game, really. Okay. But it does make sense that football players are the ones murdering people. Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> rest and in, uh, rest in o- allegedly O.J. Simpson. I didn't even think about O.J. Simpson. <laughs> the actor? <laughs> the juice? <clears throat> the man who invented the The guy juice? who did the car commercials? The car commercial guy? That naked guy? gun? Yeah. Na- the naked? Yeah. I watched Airplane the other day. Beautiful. Beautiful film. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah. Roger, Roger. What's your vector, Victor? Yeah. I, do you have clearance, Clarence? <laughs> say, are you a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> he has a little telescope over there. Oh, it's fucking great. Son, do you like movies about gladiators? <laughs> you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> it's a PG movie. It's got tits in it. I know. The 80s were crazy, man. 70s and 80s. You well, can that's why people PG weren't movies? so scared of everything. Well, that's when the M- MPAA didn't fuck everybody up. That's true, too. Censoring shit and whatever the other censor shit is. What's this? Oh, yeah. Habsburg Jaw. Dude, uh, Habsburg he- Jaw? Have you heard of yeah! how? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the fucking pinnacle of incest? Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Habsburg Jaw. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> the last guy. That guy. This one. I think he was the last one. The last, like, Habsburg of Spain. He. One of them, like, died from, like, hemophilia. 
which is a, a blood disease. Yeah, it's a blood clotting yeah, disease. Yeah, which happens all the time with these kids that are incest. Mm-hmm. And he like could barely fucking talk. He could barely eat because his jaw's all fucked up. <laughs> it's insane, dude. It's crazy that like. And they're like, "You're so beautiful. You'll lead this. You'll lead this country." <laughs> yeah, he died when he was like eight or something. <laughs> That's not eight. I don't know how old, which one it was, but it, it's wild <laughs> that like. Nature will just kind of take care of that itself, right? You know what Isn't I mean? That one of the, yeah, it is insane. Because it, I mean, there's you shouldn't be do like crossing blood. That's the same blood. Yeah, right? it's kind of fucked up. Mm-hmm. If you keep doing it, eventually it's gonna fuck you up real bad. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah. there's, I see videos of like these incest families from like w- West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. one. And it sucks for them because it's not their fault. Yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Can you Jesus. imagine? Just yeah. because your fucking parents were brother and sister? Because mm-hmm. they loved each other too much? It's terrible. And then now you're like mentally challenged. And now, and yeah, now you can't fucking, now you, you bark like a dog yeah. and you eat out of a bowl. I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> but that's when I'm a good boy, you know? I'm trying to fucking grow as a person and an animal. But they, you know, they yeah, can't but, fucking help it. But so. it is insane, though, how like Mother Nature's like, nope, this ain't going to happen. Yeah. That and then cannibalism, because like if you eat, if you eat other humans, mm-hmm. like you'll eventually <clears throat> you get a sickness and it'll kill you. And really? It'll, yeah. Why? Because it is because that's not what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> Cannibalism's natural in a lot of animals, though. Mm-hmm. A lot of animals eat. Yeah, but themselves, themselves. <laughs> a lot of animals yeah, eat. A lot of. A lot of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Habsburg jaw is crazy. I think I know it's so insane, and like the fact that the. So, in retrospect, though, like, if you went back in time, like, it, I guess it makes sense. Their thought process of it was, is like, well, like, you're royal. I'm royal. Yeah. Why would we not, why would we not want to fuck each other and then ha- make Keep a baby? Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Because all the m- the money is all uh, aired out. But you think there was someone there was like, I don't think you should be <laughs> doing this. I don't know, dude. I really don't. Right. Cause like they were, they didn't know shit. Mm-hmm. They still like did bloodletting. They would fucking bleed people out <laughs> to get like the sickness yeah, out, like, which like makes y- sense to like a five year old. <laughs> you know, like well, you're sick, just let it out. You know, <laughs> like it's stuck there. Your dick's haunted or whatever. <laughs> let the cum come out. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they just like slice them open and yeah. fucking like, all right, now all right. just well, you die. You Do know, you feel that, better. That's why it uh, didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> or fucking like leeches and yeah. shit. And another also in, insane thing that I think about when I was looking at these pictures mm-hmm. was that like these pictures are by artists, right? Mm-hmm. These artists were probably like hired by the kings and queens mm-hmm. to take these pictures. I'm Paint. sure they look a lot worse than these. For pictures. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's haunting. Absolutely. They cannot make <laughs> that guy look as ugly as he really was. And they, he's horrifying. He, yeah. He's broken. You're like, so what would you be, Aaron, like if you were an artist back then and you got hired by the king and queen mm-hmm. and you're like, and <laughs> he's barking at me. Yeah. <laughs> be like, All right. And I pay him as a dog. <laughs> what would be the background of it? What would be like the picture of him, like, and, his, him and his mom fucking <laughs> his, his, his stepdad brother <laughs> thing? It's crazy, dude. It's really like. Um, it's wild because the thing with incest is kind of like a lot of it is um, isolational or isolated because uh-huh. like with the families in like Appalachia and those kind of West Virginia area like South incest stuff they just lived by themselves right. around nobody mm-hmm. for like miles right mm-hmm. for hundreds forever right so like what else are they supposed to who do who else are they going to fuck Eventually, it's going to, like, every bloodline is going to get crossed in that yeah. small area. Cause you don't have a car. You don't have any job or anything. You have no prospects. You're just going to fucking, I'm going to fuck, you know. But, like, they could have fucked any. They were fucking more people. Yeah. But just... you got to keep it in the in the family. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because, like, there's a picture of um, all the European leaders who are related to, I think it was the queen before the, the queen we've got now from, uh-huh. like, World War One. Right. And they were there for her funeral, I think, because they were they were all her grandkids. Yeah. And it was like the czar of Russia, the fucking king of Spain, the prince of Belgium, and like the 
And they're all related. They're yeah. all these dudes who are like cousins and, you know, it was a whole huge family. Mm-hmm. It was like fucking just like manufactured like, by these. You all the king of London, but just the Spanish version. That's London. The l- well, that's French, I guess. Yeah. France. That's Isn't another place. Would you? I think about that. Yes. Like, have would you want to be <laughs> no, a, live in a, Would you want to live in a castle? And yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> what would I want to live in a fortified house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I've never been attacked, but now I won't have to worry about it even if I am. True. You know? How would you... What would be your daily routine if you lived in a castle? Oh, hiding. (laughs) (laughs) 24-7. Because the problem with having a castle is, say, like, uh, in my regular life, I was never attacked. But because you've got a castle, you've got people looking at it like, I could fucking breach. I could breach that. (laughs) I could get in there, you know? Like, just randos. You know, that's why they did it in the first place. Because they're like, oh, a challenge? Deal. Deal. So then I'd just be like, try it. <laughs> and I'd, I don't know, throw rocks you, at him or something. How would you protect it? Oh, I'd put pull up the thing. Oh, you just pull the drawbridge. The, the drawbridge? Yeah, what are they going to fucking do? Would you have a moat? Absolutely. Okay. This castle has a moat? Filled with mud. And water? Slow alligators. The slowest mud. of alligators. Well, mud. Flat. But that's the thing. So they're slow in the mud. They get on land, though. They'll surprise you. They're pretty fast. It's pudding. Nothing sh- more shocking than seeing someone always getting bit by a shark, <laughs> by getting being bit by an Crazy, alligator. Right? It's yeah. one of the most insane things. Yeah, it's wild. Even watching, I do you follow uh, Nature's Metal on Instagram. I've seen, uh, I've seen the subreddit for it. Yeah, I could see that it's something you don't really like to see. You don't want to see gruesome. I'm shit. I'm okay with animals because it's Not- more natural. Yeah, I mean, it makes more sense because mm-hmm. I, you know, we grew up on like Nat Geo TV or whatever. My grandpa right. used to watch shit like that too. But yeah, I follow that, and like, it's always interesting to see like animals. Like, dude, you're walking right into that alligator's mouth. Yeah. You're wa- and you're dead. Yeah. And when it does snap on it, did you see that video of the they were they they were at like a alligator whatever, and somebody threw meat. The handler threw meat for like four different alligators and they all converged onto the meat and then one of their arms got stuck. Oh yeah. And he barrel rolled and, roll and he and ate it. Snapped it off. Yeah. And then he ate that it. That was crazy. Yeah. And the other alligator was like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's life now. Damn it, Jimmy. You know, <laughs> fuck dude. Shit. Now I got to grow this fucking thing back. God damn it. Do they grow shit back? I don't think they do. I don't think amphibians can do that. I don't think they can do that. Or shit. just reptiles. Are they reptiles or amphibians? Are they both? <laughs> They're cold-blooded. <laughs> so they're reptiles. Okay. I thought reptiles grew shit back. Or they can. I know lizards can grow tails back. This is important. So talking more about uh, old. The braking wheel. Have you ever heard of this? Is this a torture device? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, God. So they would <laughs> put someone on this thing. Yeah. You're just all, you're all about this shit, BDSM shit. No, I just think butt it's stick small men. <laughs> I think loves it. When uh, we went to uh, over to Europe a lot growing up, mm. traveling, and so my parents would always they go were to trying these, to find a kid to trade. I think that's what you. the pro. I think that's what they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, we want a white one. <laughs> but they're like, all these ones are so. They're like, in their words, so kind of faggy, and so they just don't like yeah, that. Your stuff. parents suck. Yeah. <laughs> So like, <laughs> why are they so like dainty and stuff? My parents would not like. My parents yeah. don't like that shit. Yeah, you were a hoss. Yeah, so <laughs> at least I had that going for me. Yeah. But like, my parents would always show me. My dad would always be like, "Hey, John, look at this shit," and then he would. We go to these museums. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Dude, look at this torturing, this torture shit," and he would show me things like like the, the museum of torture. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, "Ain't ain't he was crazy?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> get out of here, you old bastard. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Hey, yeah. look at this. It's an Iron Maiden. Get in there, bud. This shit would make him smile, and him and I would have a bigger connection. That's why you but like it, this shit. Yeah, but if I were to be like, Dad, I love you, he'd be like, okay. <laughs> That's why we didn't trade you for one of them European yeah. kids, you pussy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Smack you. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff's interesting to me. These like tor- those torture devices are wild, dude. Like the fucking oh the this isn't a device, but they would hang the person upside down and just saw them from like they wouldn't die. 
they would just saw them from like the balls down. Really? Yeah. <sighs> they wouldn't die as quickly. Damn. If they did it with the brain, obviously. Right. They would bleed out and then choke on their blood, probably. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Breaking yeah. wheel. I've never heard of this one. You never heard of it? No. So they just put them. What's that? Is that. that what's that thing? I think that's part. That's just part of it. Oh, it looks like a word in Chinese <laughs> or a symbol. It yeah. does. That's it. Huh. Yeah. Foot pad. Would you do that? Do what? A, br- a breaking wheel. No. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the truth. <laughs> Hell no. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Oh, favorite conspiracy theory. I think everyone would think it would be like nine eleven, but that's kind of normal. Do you see about the the uh, how Spike Lee made a HBO? He made a series about it, a mini series about nine eleven because nine eleven is happening next week again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. No? I, I can read the future, guys. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm just saying. And uh, no, but Wink. and so like the last episode was about the conspiracy theories about mm. related around it. Mm-hmm. Loose change. Yeah. And um, yeah, it got take people got pissed about it. And really? so he had to take it out. <laughs> so it's not on HBO anymore. No. Wow. Well, no, the whole thing's going to be on there, but he, oh. he had to take away the conspiracy theory part. Uh, conspiracy theory. I don't know. I think uh, a funny one, the Cal Ripken one. That's funny. Cal Ripken's fun. Yeah. That's a funny a one, one to go. Physical. Yeah funny yeah but if we're gonna talk about like a serious one Mm -hmm. a serious one man probably like maybe i don't know jfk is pretty interesting jfk is pretty interesting yeah no because there were multiple bullet wounds Mm -hmm. from spots that apparently wouldn't he wouldn't be able to hit from up there in the book yeah place whatever library <laughs> the book repository um the grassy knoll that's a whole thing and then right. why would they kill him you know yeah right? well i think and why won't they declassify their the uh, shit that they found out about him right it was well like CIA? a lot of it's because like he went the mafia is what helped him got sure. into it, and then he's like no i ain't doing anything yeah then shit, he no. gave it up oh okay yeah okay and then another one's also like flat earth, flat earth, flat earth stuff. So he's very interesting. QAnon, all that stuff. QAnon, that's like guys that like don't want to fuck and yeah, it's, it's like why? QAnon is kind of in the same boat, I think, as flat earth because it's so absurd, ridiculous <laughs> that it's believable to people mm-hmm. who are just they're either bored or they're scared. Probably scared. Scared. I would say more scared than yeah. anything. Because flat earth started as a joke. Do you remember that? Yeah. They brought it back as like a goof. Yeah. It's like the birds aren't real thing. Mm-hmm. And they're all robots or whatever. That's a goof. But uh, in like five years, it might be like a fucking, fucking flat earth thing now. Right. To where there's actually people that actually believe it. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. There's an ice wall. It's like 8,000 feet tall. Come yeah. Come on. Come on. The, fuck on. Like, the no sun's fine. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's not that close. You die. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. We'd be dead. We would be dead. And then they're like, well, none of the other planets are flat. Like, why the fuck is it just us? Yeah. You don't understand gravity. <laughs> if you watch, did you watch that uh, Flat Earth documentary on Netflix? Mm-mm. This like is a Flat Earth. Year? Yeah, it's great. Um, The end of it, they make them look like fools. Because it is foolish. Well, it is. <laughs> but they were trying to do this experiment from the, one of them was on one end of like a lake or something. And it was at night. And then the other one was on another end. Right. They were like... Uh, a mile or half a mile away from each other something like that right beyond the curve (laughs) i think that's what it's called yeah but the point is they were trying to prove that there's no curve in such a limited space because they don't believe in the curve at all Mm. so they were like just uh, hilarious so they had two cameras and then they said they were going to flash a light and um because the cameras were on the same plane like level or whatever you'd be able to see the light because there's no curve but then <laughs> they didn't see the light in the camera because there's a curve. And then the guy was like, oh, well, I, I just got to pick up my camera to adjust for the curve. <laughs> he didn't say that, but that's what he was like. Yeah. He was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so, like, oh, there, I see it now. <laughs> see, like, I could be easily, I could be like, I could 
if I was believing any of those that kind of stuff, I'd be like, yeah, well, like, yeah, there's no curve. But if someone would be like, well, John, do you know when, like, the army, when, like, sn- snipers shoot, they have mm-hmm. to actually do a calculation in their head for, like, the curvature? The curve, yeah. And I'd be like, oh, well, I guess what I believe in isn't real. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be the end of it. That would be the end of, like, my flat earth theory. Like, it's different if you just say it because it's fun and, like, goofy. Yeah. But it's also funny, like, thinking that like, dragons were real and there was, like, in the Middle East, in, like, the mi- Middle Ages mm-hmm. and yeah. with castles and kings yeah. and queens. Unicorns. Yeah. Like, that's also that's funny that's to fun. say. <laughs> that's sexy. But it doesn't mean I believe it. No. Like, yeah. If you, there's, a, there's a one about T-Rexes. Have you seen this one? Mm-hmm. That their arms, their little, dumb little arms were pointless, mm-hmm. but that we got it wrong. And so what they really look like is if you turn the arms backwards... They look like wings, so it's like a dragon. <laughs> but then it's like the weird tiny wings. <laughs> like it can't be big. <laughs> so then it's just like these little tiny wings on this enormous monster. <laughs> or that's like a fly. bird. And this is like a bird where it has well, like the, little, uh, yeah, little exactly. Hooks, but then like it makes big a mm-hmm. big feather. Yeah. Well, that's what the bird <laughs> that's, dinosaurs that's, are closely related, related related to birds. Yeah. The closest thing to a T Rex. Well, now they is believe a now that yeah, most most dinosaurs had were feathers. feathers. Yeah. They had feathers. People Which is almost makes them more terrifying. For sure. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> God, like a bunch of fucking scary peacocks. Yeah, like Jesus what Christ. the f- like eighteen feet tall like God. F- like bird lizard thing. Oh, like what? Can the you imagine fuck? all the crazy shit like like the like the ten thousand years ago like the first people who were like nomads and shit mm-hmm. seeing like the ice age animals yeah. like the giant land sloth. <laughs> Like a fucking bear, dude. Like yeah. an enormous, like a big ass bear sloth. That Just wasn't slow. <laughs> <laughs> like it was huge. We fucking murdered them into ex- extinction. Mm-hmm. Imagine killing one of those fuckers. And then like the those giant, like the, it was like bigger than a brown bear. It was like twice the size of a brown bear. Mm-hmm. And like it literally kept us from going from like one part of the world to the next yeah. because like there were so many of them because they could kill us. <laughs> they had no predator. Yeah. <laughs> so humans were like, "Well, we can't go over there, but over here, <laughs> we're good, good to go, good to go." Just well, these giant ass bears will fucking kill us. <laughs> to think about that, that's insane to think like that. To think that like you can be completely fine here, but if you just take twenty yards that way, yeah. You're fucked. This fucking bear will fuck you up, and there's nothing we can do <laughs> about it. Nothing. <laughs> it's all territorial. <laughs> You're fucked. Don't go there. <laughs> Imagine knowing that there's all this evidence and knowledge of all this stuff, and then still not believing dinosaurs are real. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> or that that's people, another one. like young Earth creationists, people like that don't believe grew. that dinosaurs are real. That's yeah. another one that's yeah. insane. Why? 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 Because the devil put him there. Yeah. We know. Look, we know. We know we're all playthings and the devil's little tricks, mm-hmm. right? But if dinosaurs weren't real, can we just have this? Yeah. Can we just play around and say that they are? The devil's good, dude. Mm-hmm. He's gonna trick us. If he if he's if he's, if he's gonna trick us, let him. Mm-hmm. I want to. I want to believe. Did you ever believe that we didn't go to we didn't go to space or no. we didn't go to the moon? You always believed no. it. No. Well, it's not that I believed it. It's that I knew we did. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. I think, okay, so the funny thing about the the fake moon landing is that they on, they believe that this was the only time we didn't go to space because mm-hmm. it was a space race and Russia was close to the moon. Also, Russia's still never been to the moon. They never went. That's After we of, yeah. got there, they just gave up. We're like, oh, fuck. I guess we don't know what, what now. Oh, I guess we. Great. Yeah, why be number two? But they think we all, uh, they all think that we went to the moon. Not all of them, I guess. Like flat earthers don't believe it because they're it's a well, whole yeah, layers. Can't. There's so many layers to this shit too. It's like it's, it's world building. This whole thing world a set. building. I know. <laughs> Which what you think people come out in the middle of the night and are mil- yeah. and just push it across? Yeah, like of course what the they fuck do. are they doing? Yeah, well God does that. True. That's the greatest conspiracy theory of all. That God is gay. <laughs> 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 That'd be cool. God just sucking hog upstairs, <laughs> upstairs in heaven. <laughs> well, if the flat, if the earth was flat, heaven would be closer, right? Right. You think? You'd think? You'd hope. I like conspiracy theories. I think they're funny. I think they're they're so much fun. Um, they're really fun. The Titanic one's good. Is it what? Yeah. So the one with the di- the Titanic is that it was oh, a, the the boats the got switched extra out. Boat. Yeah, the yeah. Britannica, I think, or whatever. Cause it was a sister boat, and then they just switched the nameplate. And put it on the 
fucked up one so they'd get the insurance money. Mm. And then the real Titanic sank not too long after that. <laughs> this was like shot down, I think, in World <laughs> War One. Good God. There's a ton of fucking like freight liners and boats with people Humans on them that are, get shot down. God, we are so fucking insane. Terrible. We're our only enemy. Yeah, <laughs> we've just... <laughs> We don't have to we've worry about so bears many, anymore. Yeah, we've done so many <laughs> great things, as but then as, turn right back around and <laughs> fucked it all up. Yeah, as soon as one guy got the balls to go fucking murder the monster bear, mm-hmm. we're like, well, now who? <laughs> you. And then we just started killing each other. And then what if we would have like gone ended. back, like, eh, like, oh my god, like, so you, you're the first person that killed these bears, so now all these people, like, all of our ancestors can like migrate all across the whole world. Like, yeah, yeah I did that. It's like so. Now, now, John, Aaron, tell us about like your world. Well. There's things <laughs> called diseases, right? Lord. And they made these labs where they wanted to make them stronger. <laughs> and that's one too. <laughs> and then, like, well, you wouldn't believe uh, it, but <laughs> one of them kind of escaped. <laughs> yeah, you sprouted legs and got. And out. next thing you know, the whole world just had to say, "Time the fuck <laughs> out." And now we can't go anywhere. So it's literally like the exact opposite of what you did. But there's not that many. There's not a lot places to go because the Earth's flat. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> well, I guess I didn't. I don't Why do you think you were able to get across it so easy? Yeah. Why do you think there's only one, two ways to go, and one of them has a bear in front of it? The Titanic one's fun. Um, I think it's not a conspiracy theory, but ghosts. Interesting. How are how is spirit like <laughs> a soul? How is that not a conspiracy theory? Really, there's no proof for it. True. At oh, all. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's only based upon religion. It's based on belief and like, you know, because we can't explain consciousness. Uh-huh. Like in a site, we don't really know where it came from. Mm-hmm. So we can we can explain it, but it's like we why do we get this like thing that other animals didn't develop? Yeah. Consciousness, like all this shit. The ability to question, you know, and know life or who we are, Anything. what we are. Yeah. Instead of just running on like, you know, instincts and mm-hmm. like self subconscious, like food and sleep, food and sleep and Insects. shitting and fucking. Yeah. Yeah. I every, animals are crazy. What? Everything almost... is an existential nightmare, dude. Mm-hmm. And it's not even a nightmare. It's just everything's like existentially weird. Yeah. You're like, how does this? How is this real? Like, how did we get uh, picked out of all of them? And that's what separates us from fucking donkeys. Mm hmm. We're not Sit. as cute though. Nope. We're not donkeys. <laughs> We're not donkeys. That's for sure, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> Did we but do a video we... yet? <laughs> I don't think we have. <laughs> Holy shit. It's been the do you guys do you want to do a <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We got on rambling. Rambling yeah, we fucking got... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Halfway done, just goofing off. We're having fun. Yeah, just We're letting them fun. roll. Roll tide, dog. Roll tide. Roll. Roll tide. Fucking. Roll tide. Sorry to say, but roll died. Roll tide. All right. Ready? Pitch it. President Biden refuses. Oh. I just heard a moment ago. President Biden refuses to move the August 31st deadline. He's allowing the Taliban to dictate what we do. And he's going to leave our American people behind. You fucking coward. You, you fucking coward. The ant. <laughs> <laughs> What is interesting? We've never, we haven't, we haven't talked about that whole. We haven't talked about Afghanistan yet. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Thank you, John. Okay, well, sit back. Let me explain. Okay, this is ready to go. It all started I'm when, like, I felt this little pinch, right? Mm-hmm. And I understood us going into Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. 
And I was young. I was a young kid. I was sure. like, this is not a good idea. Mm-hmm. This ain't a good idea. Yeah. Um, even when, when Bush was like, we're going to get those terrorists. And yeah. like, you know, then he was like, you know, now watch this. Now wa- watch, wait, this watch, this, watch this drive. Yeah. And then he ran into a car with his car. Yes. I was like, this is not good. We shouldn't yeah. be doing this. Yeah, back when you were 12. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I don't wait. 2001. 2001 yeah, I was 12. I was 12 years yeah. old. I knew then. And then Obama mm-hmm. got in there. Thanks, Obama. Yep, got in there. And, uh, you know, Clinton. That was before uh, Bush. He Well, he wanted to be up in there. Sure. He tried. He knew better. <laughs> he was a Democrat, so <laughs> he you, knew, you know he was trying to get up in there. They all want the... All want uh, the then Trump. And the Trump being the only one who wasn't going to be up in there. He's like, I'm not going to yeah. leave that shit. Why would I want to leave that shit? Oh, yeah. he tried, though. He tried, though. He tried to get about that shit. Didn't work. Nope. And then good old Biden. And Biden. They pulled people out. Every night they were doing planes full of people leaving. Mm-hmm. Just like, t- like people were lying. <laughs> about <laughs> Why would he leave them? You know? Yeah. Like, it's not like, I mean, Taliban stinks, right? Don't, don't get me wrong. Taliban, bad, bad guys. I'll say it. Taliban's full of bad guys. <laughs> they were doing bad shit. They're, they shouldn't have a country. But also, <laughs> it's not our fucking problem. <laughs> We're not the police of the world. So we should get the Taliban had Pakistan before, and then they lost them. I don't remember. What's so interesting? Afghanistan, Afghanistan, Afghanistan used to be very like very progressive, and Mm -hmm. like women used to show the Islamic revolution. Really, they did the same shit in uh, like Iraq. Yeah, and then the The, then there were some like radicals, or mm -hmm. I should should I call them radicals? Is that the right term? (laughs) They're religious radicals, sure. Well, there was so there's a documentary on Netflix about this that yeah, came I, out that I watched. Yeah, I just Did watched watch too, Yeah, there's five of them, five of these guys mm-hmm. who were trying to fucking like b- make this government, and yeah. the Taliban was on them. Al Qaeda was well, kind of a part of it too. Well, they were, but well, they were really kind of they were double dipping because they were getting like, the education from the United States, mm-hmm. and then they were getting uh, <clears throat> training. Yeah, warfare training from the Russians, <laughs> and then they're trying yeah. to pin against those two. Like, wait, what the fuck are you trying to do? Yeah. And then, you, then you just fuck yourself when you, you do don't shit go like there. That. You yeah. don't go there because it's all mountains. It's all a bunch of fucking like they know what they're doing. It's their ha- home. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with them. Just let them do it. Get out of there. <laughs> that is true. That's shit. what I thought too. Like I get like you know global um, diplomacy and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like you, sh- you, there shouldn't be a country run by Taliban. Again, there shouldn't be one. No. They're bad people. They kill women for going to school. It's insane. They're terrible. It's weird. Um, but also, fucking psychos in America kill pe- people in schools. Mm-hmm. Do something about that first. True. Get rid of the N- NRA. It's already bankrupt. Fucking dig up Charlton Heston's rotting corpse. Bring and back, fucking... Bring back Trump? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring back, bring back Trump. <laughs> I can't say it right either. We're fucking. We're both of us are having a heart attack and a stroke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Maybe we're like the inbreds from. What? <laughs> we're the inbreds from oh, uh, West Virginia. <laughs> I you said we're like them reds. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> from Russia. Yeah. Well, you're not wearing your red socks. Grays. Mm. I don't have red socks. I don't think I have a pair of red socks. Either. Why would you? What what, what what purpose do they serve, Kurt Schilling? Huh? Because by the time you wash them so many times, they're going to turn pink. That's true. Kurt Schilling's the only uh, baseball player who deserves to be in the Hall of Fame who's not in the Hall of Fame because he's a Republican piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> he sucks. He's a bad guy. He's a Taliban. He is a Taliban. Texas banned abortion. I know. What you just kind of swooped in there and did yeah. it? Yeah. Not a fan. Not a fan of that either. Not good. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. They're just taking rights away from people that are legal in America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it's such a weird thing to be fighting for. Well, I guess it's, I, I understand. I understand mm-hmm. one aspect of it because it's like, you know, these are human lives. But if you don't want abortions, don't get a sex if education. Get, that too invest in sexual education invest in condoms yeah but they don't i know those things they don't want to do anything they don't do anything because well, do. they don't care they don't give a shit about the kid they couldn't care less after the kid's born fucking we don't give a fuck you know they don't care yeah they know that it's not about the kid it's about controlling women mm. that's all it is because as long as they can control women 
then they have like this foothold in their own party. It's all about control. It's just like religion. Right. It's all about control. True. You abortion was a fucking bipartisan agreement in the 70s. Right. Republicans are all about it. And they should be cuz they're the ones fucking women who aren't their wives and knocking them up and then getting fucking, you know, illegal abortions from doctors that they paid to come to their mansions. Mm -hmm. We all know that happens, but now it's just not going to happen to these poor women who can't afford to get an abortion or can't get an abortion because they live in fucking Houston, which is like four hours away from anywhere. That's not Texas. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in the South that I know of has abortions. Shit. I had to go to Kansas to get one. Yeah. Missouri doesn't have any. Uh-uh. It's a fucking nightmare. And there was like a there was like an Amish woman protesting. Was she it wasn't really doing anything? Yeah, she was just like at a sign, like, "Hey, uh, please stop it." <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> no, but she Do, was like you, doing nothing. So you sat. I you sat in the room. Yeah, oh, not shit. the room. No, I sat in the lobby <laughs> while it happened. <clears throat> Did you get on your phone? Well, yeah, it was like two <laughs> hours, dude. It took a while. And we weren't the only people there either. Well, we, oh, you didn't sit, you didn't talk to any guy, anybody else? No, dude. It's like a bunch of teenagers in there. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, there's like regular people. I mean, they all didn't just go there for abortions either. Planned Parenthood's like a right. that's like one percent of what they do. That is um, true. That's one thing that a lot, I don't think a lot of people get. No, of course not. <laughs> but that's what they're being told. Right. And that's what's getting the same thing with like the Biden fucking pulling people, not pulling people out. He is. You're, people are just lying. And the idiots will believe anything that fits their narrative. Right. But yeah, Planned Parenthood rules. They do a ton of ton more shit. Right. Like they actually help you plan parenthood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plant parenthood. Plant parenthood. Plant plants. Abortions rule. Keep them going. <laughs> Keep it up. It's awesome. Do the thing. Because they don't give a shit about the kid. It can go in fucking foster care the rest of its life. And that's not how it works. But they can go in foster care right. until it's an adult. They don't care. It doesn't matter. That is They just true. care about controlling women. That is very true. Because they're like, women are subservient. They're only good for one thing, and that's having babies. Mm-hmm. That's what the Bible says. Meow. Meow, dog. Woof. So, Aaron. Hit me. Um, There's one thing I guess we should probably talk about. What's that? Uh... This will be. This is kind of like the last. This is the season finale. The season finale. Yeah. This. Yeah. I guess that is a better way of putting it. It's the season finale versus like the series finale. The series finale. Yeah. We'll keep doing it off and on. Right. We'll be back. But you're gonna be moving. You moving, move on Monday. Moving to Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. The big move is finally happening. I know. I'm not going to know what to do on Mondays and Tuesday nights anymore. I know. What the hell are you going to do? Hang you're gonna out. To, you're going to have to do your own podcast. I'll probably still do the joke podcast. I'm kind of running out of shit to say, though. You're a comedian. <laughs> yeah, but it's like about my jokes. I'm like running out of my jokes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can talk about like writing jokes. That's easy. But, um, yeah, I don't. Rowan's got a podcast. She Her stepdad and their basement uh has like a studio because he's a mu- musician oh nice um so we might just do stuff down hey, there you and her should start something do like a boyfriend girlfriend podcast i want to do a podcast about the song night moves by bob Seger, <laughs> and i want it to be um because in that movie that song's about high school right mm-hmm. like a love a high school fling but it talks a lot about stuff that we all did when we were kids you know right fucking you know goofing around Running around all over the place, you know. Yeah. I want, I want to, I want, I want it to be like. So, what was the thing that you did, you know, in high school mm. that's similar to this? Okay. I really just want an excuse to talk about night moves all the time. That makes sense. Talks great. Call it like yeah, call it the night moves podcast. Night goofs. Night goofs. Night goofs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I Baby don't know. I don't want to name it night goofs, but I think <laughs> it's a good name. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited though? I'm excited. It should yeah. be it, yeah. You should be fucking excited. It's gonna be, it's gonna good be fucking, fun. It's like gonna be a good move for you. Yeah, I'm I think su- so too. Like when you told me about it, I was like, hell yeah! Mm-hmm. I, mean, I was really excited for you. Yeah, it'll be fun. I can't believe you're 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 doing moves. It's finally, dude. I know. I've been talking about moving anywhere for like years. I know. All I need this might be the good move. This might be the good thing that happens for 
if you when you do this, mm-hmm. and I'm like, well, now what? You're the only thing. Like this was like yeah, this sure. kind of thing was like the only thing keeping me here. Mm-hmm. What else? Went what? to Nashville. Yeah, well. do shit in Nashville. It's as expensive as it is here. It's true. And it, there's more industry. You could fucking get on with like mm. CMT or something. And then I can live with Chase. Netflix, yeah. <laughs> and his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot he's married. <laughs> he's married now. Another wedding I missed because I was on tour. Oh. Um, yeah, dude, fucking. There's nothing in Kansas City. Kansas City's cool. I love Kansas City. Yeah, I love Kansas City, too. I love driving past. Like, I love where I live right now because there's a great view of the skyline. I love our skyline. Mm-hmm. I love the city. It's awesome. There's nothing here, though. Nothing. Right? Yeah, there really ain't much. There, you can make stuff. Like, I made my own shit, right? Mm-hmm. I built I've made my, my own shit. You've built made, your own yeah. stuff. We've built our own shit. Yeah. But, yeah, at a certain point, it's like, all right, well, we've got to fucking gotta spread do wings. new shit. Yeah. Well, I, I think Ron and I will probably move to Nashville, at like in a year or two. Nice, make like that jump to a bigger city. Big city. It's not as big. Like it's not. It's as big as Kansas City, I think. But it's like it's one of the big, I guess, smaller markets that are mm-hmm. able to, that, that has a lot of media with it. Yeah, it's the country music capital of the world, mm-hmm. and that's a big. It's got a decent comedy scene going on too. Like a lot of like commercial comedy shit. Mm-hmm. So there's a there's a chance to get something out of it, which is exciting. There's also no quick trip, so I'm never gonna eat a hot dog again. Pretty excited about well, that. <laughs> that alone is a maybe mm-hmm. be a good reason to move there. Yeah, she lives right next to a Planet Fitness. I pay for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go there all the time. It's gonna go be great. The, you can walk there. No, well, it's not that close. Oh, it's not that close. Okay, it's like a two minute drive. Oh, three okay. minute drive. Beautiful. Yeah, which is right next to a grocery store. It's a pretty good grocery store. It's a Kroger. Just rice and meat. It's a Kroger. You ever heard of it? Yeah. They had a lot of those in California. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. There's also a, wa- a Walmart not too far and nice. a food city. Oh, yeah. You've been there a bunch, so it's mm-hmm. not going to be like that. It's not going to be a jarring no, juxt- no. juxt for you. No, I'm I'm excited because it's, it's a cool small town, like city. There's like, it's a college town. University of Tennessee is mm-hmm. there, which is probably the worst part about it <laughs> is that it's an <laughs> SEC town full of knobs. Oh, man. But whatever. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Um, happy for you. Thank you. I'm a little sad this is going to be a little bit more difficult to be doing all the time. Sure, yeah. But, you know, hey, it's one of the small little prices to pay for. Yeah. You know, I, I knew it was going to happen because, like you said, like Kansas City's not a hub. Yeah. So it's like you you have to. It's weird. There's nothing here. It is weird because it's smack dab in the smack center. Dab, it's convenient. You would it's think three that hours away from more. everywhere on a yeah, plane. Yeah, you would think that this would be a perfect place. This, yeah. w- you think this would be like a Nashville. Like you would yeah. think that like Kansas City could. Well, it be. was like a jazz place, but that just like died. Yeah, because where it's built on racism. Mm-hmm. True. <laughs> so that didn't help. True. Um, Very true. But yeah, like with the new airport, I think that might bring some shit in, but it's not going to be like. Austin or Nashville or no. even Minneapolis or not at all, which sucks. It could be if they had if they got if they ever get like a high speed rail that they've been talking about like that connects it to St. Louis and Springfield like the Missouri three. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe that would open up a lot of shit because then maybe they could connect it to like Chicago from St. Louis and then Denver from right. here and blah blah blah. Yeah, uh, it should be a transportation hub. It's just not. Yeah. And then that should bring in everything else. Everything. Cause, yeah. I mean, that's why, like, Atlanta's a thing. is because it's got the biggest, the, the air, most port. busiest airport in the world. It's very true. It Minneapolis. Like, it's not the only reason, obviously, but right. it doesn't hurt. It does, yeah. Salt Lake City. But, Nobody gives a fuck about Salt mm-hmm. Lake City, but they have a big airport for some reason. It doesn't make any sense in the fucking mountains. Well, Mormons. It snows there all the time. They love flying. <laughs> they love flying to Guatemala and giving people Bibles instead of food. Psychos. It's like, we're hungry. You eat wanna... this. Eat the word of God, <laughs> you, <laughs> you pussy. Yeah, you want to learn something? Let me Joseph teach you something. Joseph Smith was pretty hungry, too. Yeah. And he found Jesus. Yeah. Never ate a day in his life. <laughs> it's like, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're lying. I watch South Park. <laughs> you piece of shit. But what's, the, what's the one thing you're going to miss the most about Kansas City? You think? Oh, my friends. They're friends? Yeah. You, Dayton, mm-hmm. uh, Mitchell, fucking, like, yeah, everybody, dude. 
people are cool. I, I enjoyed, I like the scene. Mm-hmm. You know, I like everything I've done. You pretty much almost built the scene. You helped build this Kansas City scene. Yeah, I think I was a big part of it. And I'm excited to see how they, what happens after I have like, you know, stopped running shit here. Right. What is the, what is the other comedians? I, I'm assuming they all found, you, I know you posted online. Mm-hmm. How's the community? The com- the they're fine. They're like, yeah. Well, because I, I plan on coming back like. Oh, yeah. It's going to be often. easy for you to. Yeah. Because it, 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 it is like. The cool thing is my parent. When I come back, I'm going to stay with my parents and they live in Weston, which is close to the airport. Right. So it's going to be easy. Beautiful. And then I, I'll just drive one of my dad's trucks for when I'm in town mm-hmm. and then like work the comedy club or some other whatever shit I put together to do the Weston show. Right. If I can keep doing the Western show, I'll be pretty happy because I like that's in my best cave. show. Yeah, about the cave. Yeah, the well now it's in the cave. Oh, again. It's in the cave but, again. Um, Good. I love that show. It's great. It's a great venue. It is. Yeah, it's, it's a rules. crazy little because co- it is it a great little stage. And it, it's, well, we don't do it downstairs. Oh, you don't do it. No, down we there? do it. We tried it the first time, and it was it's too big. Really? Yeah, like you can get. You can get forty five to fifty people in that small upper pub mm-hmm. and it's great. Oh. Where and, Bob that, Reader and, plays. and it's so loud because it's like so small. Well, yeah. yeah it, their system echoes, but yeah. I bring in my own amp and it doesn't echo, which is mm-hmm. great. But yeah, dude, it's like it's the ceilings are low, it's dark. It's like a comedy club. Mm-hmm. The seating's not great. No. But it's because they have those church pew fucking benches. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah. But yeah, uh I'll keep that going whenever I come back. Wow. You know. Nice. That'll be easy. And then we'll do our show every time you come back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or we should probably I don't know. Although I say that we should stockpile, but I don't even know what that's gonna be. What do you mean? Like I'd say like we'll do like two or three of them at a time. Oh. If you want. Yeah. But if I'm they're an hour long, so it's like it's like do you really wanna <laughs> It's like I mean, we've done like two in a night before, and it's been like, all right, it's kind of tiring. But right. It doesn't really matter. True. I don't care. And then, yeah. It's like been like the, the big thing, too, is because I've always wanted to, as silly as I think people will, like, I'm not silly, but it's like people are like, well, isn't, isn't that kind of what Joe Rogan does anyway? But like, I've always, because even when we first started doing podcasts, I was like, you want to do a podcast tonight? You want to do a podcast yeah. tonight? I would always ask you, like, do <laughs> yeah. you want to do podcasts all the time? Well, they're just so easy to make. Bec- the budget of them are so yeah. s- low. The low budget productions. Mm-hmm. Like once you get an established, you can do it anytime you want. Yeah, you can do it all the time. Yeah. So it'd be like one of those Joe Rogan things. Where I, I just want to start pumping out mm-hmm. podcasts with different people. I want to have comedians. Sure. I want to have doctors. I just want to talk to people because mm-hmm. I want to get better at talking. Yeah, because th- as much as like me sitting down by myself and talking mm-hmm. is a skill, like interacting with another human being, yeah. and being able to control or understand like the dips and flows of the mm-hmm. conversation <clears throat> is also a skill as well. Well, so, if you want, I can fucking post about like here mm-hmm. on the comedians page for you. Yeah, then, that'd be because you can like produce people's shows. Oh yeah, I'd love and I would love to come yeah. in. Yeah. But yeah, I would definitely love to because I, I have some ideas for some mm-hmm. comedians I want to have in. Yeah, that I and Dayton can help with that too. Yeah, um, if he brings Carlos on to replace me, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. Carlos is cool. That would be. And then he's also a musician too. He does music. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I don't and know what kind. I haven't listened to it, but it's like electronic or some pop yeah. or something. Nice. Really know. And then hopefully Dayton and I will, may, or maybe Dayton and I will. Be, I'm just like so worried that he'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is with him is that if it's only him, he loses motivation. Right. But when he has somebody to that he has to like, you know, comply to. Mm-hmm. If he knows that he could let you down, it'll be the end of his world. <laughs> if he lets you down, he'll kill himself. Basically, he'll eat another burrito <laughs> and then <Good> die. Joke. <laughs> Jesus, that was the most funny. I thing. know it's hilarious. But bec- like that's why he he always does the cool baby one mm-hmm. unless he was working like the other day. Right. If he absolutely can't, then he's, you know, he can't do it. But he's always, like, dropped shit. Specifically, he's driven, like, you know, he lives in Smithville still. Yeah. It's crazy. So as long as it's, like, you know, a Have thing a for day. him. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, it'd be the same. It'd be, he'll keep doing it. Cause I, could, I would love to be able to have him, like, as a consistent person mm-hmm. to be able to have as, the co- as a co-host. Yeah. And plus, I think it'd be interesting just to get to know a little sure. bit better. He loves doing this. Yeah, and it's it's a fun fucking thing to do. Mm-hmm. I don't. It, it is like when you start doing it, and you're like, oh, this is this is yeah. not that bad. This is 
just you know it sucks the set of lot cameras and lights sure. and all that stuff like it's just tedious yeah but then once you're sitting down you're like oh well let me not that yeah or, now we just talk yeah now we talk. do the fun part yeah the fun part it's great so yeah, i think you could you could do pretty well with like as like a podcast studio for other comics mm-hmm it's like guys like it's just sitting here like just do it i don't understand like why people i don't understand like if some i wish i had when i was starting up our stuff and you remember we were doing on a small little table Mm -hmm. and just little that little microphone we all had to lean in really close yeah the snowball yeah like i wish (laughs) i had someone that had all this stuff (laughs) that was like wanting well nobody in the scene like listens to my stuff it's interesting this blues one because like you're the most I get it. I don't want to listen to my friend's podcast either that much. Mm. Unless I think they're going to talk about me. <laughs> Other than that, I don't care, you know. Mm-hmm. But, you know, they want to, They listen to, like, big podcasts. Like, whatever. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, everyone listens to big podcasts. Yeah, which is fine. But, yeah, dude, I can fucking talk to some people and see if they want to, like, do... Come in here and just, like, rent it, even. Mm-hmm. Like, they could pay you or whatever. And just Always. fucking... For sure. Because you got everything. Shit. Oh, yeah. It's a legit set. Yeah. It's a podcasting set. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't think they'd have a problem with that. Right. Um, so oh Aaron. God. Yes. For the last <gasps> time. For now. For now. Yeah. You wanna Yep, let's watch videos of people getting their heads chopped off by helicopters. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't have any of those this week, but I do <laughs> <Thank> have <God. laughs> I do have a whole bunch of brand new misconnections. <laughs> Thank God, man. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> First one. The wrestling show you didn't go to. The wrestling show you didn't go to. <laughs> we're, just going, we're just starting from the top. This has no location, which is Maryville. Oh, okay, so it's close to Maryville, I guess. Okay. I don't know. October 9th, you wake up. Sad you didn't go see Pony Express Wrestling live in Maryville. You didn't cheer the good guys, boo the bad guys. You didn't go drink at Bernie's afterwards. You missed it. Don't do it. This is an ad for Pony Express Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> PonyExpress.com Wrestling. It's like October this. 9th. Are you guys from the future? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, this is actually a, a legit place to post for them. This makes sure, sense. Sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Why not? I mean, people are going to see it. Shit, probably. HR guy from Overland Park met on flight. So I met this really charming guy in a flight coming into MCI. We met on a flight from another Midwest city, and we chatted there for our layover. We worked in the same field and had that in common. <laughs> okay. Flight <laughs> happened a few weeks back. Would love to chat more. <laughs> okay. You're never going to see this person again. Never again. Airport, airport uh, sh- like flings like that are just not real. Mm. It's, uh, it's people in like their lowest. like they hate, they hate it there. They don't want to be there. No one wants to be in a plane. Nobody no wants, wants to be in an airport. No. You just got frisked. Yeah. You know, it sucks. Had to you're talking off. to somebody because you're you're going to either talk to somebody or go into the bathroom and scream into the mirror until you shit yourself. I and mean, good thing you're in the bathroom. Because you shit yourself. And good thing you brought those wipes. Smart. Bring your own toilet paper and butt wipes when you're in the airport because the toilet paper there is horrible. No matter what. You writing this down, people? That's actually kind of true. <laughs> you should actually do I that, know. guys. Yeah. Bring like a Charmin Soft, mm-hmm. Ultra Soft, whatever it's called, and then butt some wipes. baby wipes. Don't wipes. do not buy Charmin baby wipes or butt wipes. Why they have something in them that really hurts? I don't know what it is, <laughs> but it stings. <laughs> it's horrible. It's like getting kissed by a wasp on your <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> it sucks. Kissed by a wasp. <laughs> it's the worst. I think that might be the. That's the name of it. That's the name of the podcast, Kiss by a Wasp. Kiss by a Wasp. Okay. Kiss when you by go to the airport, buy, honestly, I'll tell you the best fucking butt wipes. The Equate ones from Walmart. The fucking store brand Walmart butt wipes. Rule. They kick shit. <laughs> they and they get it out shit. of your butt. Steve P., it's Lex. Overland Park. Not sure if you read these. It'd be funny if it was just like, not sure if you read. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to cancel my quick meet. My ex knows my password. If you see this, get back to me here. Maybe we can grab, grab drinks drink next, next weekend. weekend. What the fuck is quick meet? That's the that's the card you get at Quick Trip. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Quick Trip <laughs> credit card. Quick meet. Miss you, Courtney. Oh. Miss you, Courtney. Oh, H. 
<laughs> What's the H for? Uh, hot. <laughs> hot. Kansas City. <laughs> we had a lot of fun back in the day and fell in love, but the situation could never happen. I think about you every day, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was so... <laughs> Those are always sad. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> he's just short, quick, and like, all right, then he just blew his brains out. <laughs> I think about you every day. We were in love. We Fuck. Were. Well, Courtney. Gotta end this. Courtney. God. Looking for PC. Porn child. <laughs> Looking for PC. <laughs> over Berlin Park. Penis come? Oh, I don't know. Pe- <laughs> Penis ghost. Oh, no. Penis ghost, no. P Crane. That's who it is. You found me on here. You were from in depth. Me, <laughs> Leavenworth, Kansas. 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 Core is yours. What's that? <laughs> What's that mean? The core, core is, yours. is yours. Hey, brother. The core is yours. The core is yours. Now go. <laughs> made it from back. For, made it back from su- sh- southwest. <laughs> the fuck? You posted after. W- use words. <laughs> you posted after I left, and I replied. Both discovering we belong. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Your house is abandoned. Your house is abandoned in Independence. <laughs> Are you gone for good? Jess. What? <laughs> Core is yours. <laughs> we both discovered we belong. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this like sci-fi shit? <laughs> like world building? Like story? Like, oh man. <laughs> like a writing prompt? <laughs> Fucking Las Vegas, Kansas. Las Vegas, Kansas. This is bizarre. <laughs> Ooh, a Dollar Tree one. Hell yeah. September 6, 2021. Dollar Tree, Warnell, 5.25 p.m. Well, <laughs> Boone really, Hill. That's very specific. You, female, fair complexion, straight black hair, huge pussy, nice smile. You were wearing a multicolor, tan, yellow, brown, black, one-piece outfit. Me, <laughs> alpha <laughs> male. <laughs> no time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Brick hard cock. <laughs> 12 feet long. <laughs> you were in the aisle with light bulbs. <laughs> we exchanged a look and a smile. Let's get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking turd. <laughs> you, a female. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Let me put my seed in you. <laughs> Come, dumpster. Alpha male. That's how there I'm gonna. Go. That's how I'm gonna describe myself and everything. Alpha male. Yeah. <laughs> Missing my baby girl Nessie. Oh no, this guy's from Scotland, <laughs> Kansas City. I miss she you, went but in the water and she never came <laughs> yeah, out. <laughs> her neck grew really long. I miss you, but more importantly, I still love you. Nothing more needs to be said. I wish things were different. This is probably the same guy from yeah, before. Yeah, same guy from before. <laughs> Lost friend. Oh no. <laughs> This can't be good. I did lost your connection. You are living close by North Mall. E- email me, please. <laughs> That's how people from Gladstone talk. Yeah. <laughs> lost. I did lost your connection. Cheryl from TWA. <laughs> we worked together at TWA in the 80s. Where'd you go? <laughs> well, well <laughs> TWA folded. So she probably fucking went. So she got another job. <laughs> yeah. <Jeez>. Goopball. <laughs> that was the hub in Kansas City was TWA. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going down. There's got to be something. Girl from Blue Springs. Girl from Blue Springs. Hey, where'd you go? All of a sudden, you were just gone. Hit me up. <laughs> so many short ones. The people are just like getting to the point now. They probably, all of them have listened to this podcast and been like, I don't want to get made fun of. Yeah, I don't want to get wasabi deviled eggs. Oh, no. Yeah, do that one. <laughs> wasabi deviled eggs. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. If you know, you know. Hey, we hey. don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> where uh, are you at? Go to that one. Where are you at? Belton. Where are you at? Belton. Okay. I know that many are looking here for a contact like this. Hit me up if you like buy straight casual connection with a cross-dressing eye girl. T girl, sorry. <laughs> T's kind of look like eyes. Yeah. I don't know. That enjoys all sorts of fun and play. Hmm. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Jason Moore concert. Pretty blonde lady in blue dress. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> freaky Friday, baby. Um, get, kick it. Get that freaky fight at Friday. 
I'm excited. Hey, God damn. Hey, ladies, please send those pics. I'm thankful for you. You are beautiful. <laughs> he's, he's, he's taking steps too soon. Mm. You don't say you're beautiful before they send the pictures. Yeah. It's weird. All right, Who we'll just do. goes to the internet and it's like, hey, do you have pictures of yourself? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, we'll do one more. Which lovely, one? So- lovely lady at Costco. At 152 and Platt Purchase. Kansas City, this is, this is about, this is close to Barry Road. Yeah. I asked if your name was Kelly. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ask? Why? Hey, hey, are you Kel- <laughs> Kelly? Are you Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> you have pretty eyes. Message me back with your answer. I would like to buy you dinner. <laughs> she looked hungry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kelly. <laughs> wow. You didn't respond. <laughs> Why did you not respond? My name's Angela. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Dip shit. Fucking dip stick. All right. Get that ghost out of your dick, dude. Everybody needs to get the ghost out of their wiener. Remember that. Get the evil out. So, looks like we reached the end of another podcast, Aaron. That's true. Hey, you know, you, you want to, I, I wonder this, and this has been um, asked before. How how many, how f- how few serial killers would there be? If instead of going to kill somebody, mm-hmm. you know, and do the whole thing, why well, didn't they have a well, maybe if they like jerked off first, mm. and then they got like post nut clarity? And they're like, you know, I don't, I don't need to kill somebody right now. There was a thing. I think there was a meme that I found that had something about that. It makes sense. Oh, here it is. It's like going to the grocery store hungry. This could be like this is this could be your like your wisdom thing that you say. Mm-hmm. I'm signing off. The Japanese phrase for post nut clarity is kinjamite kinjataimu, which literally translates to wise man time. <laughs> uh, every week at the Aaron and John show is considered wise man time. It is because <laughs> I go to the bathroom yeah. and jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> that's my yeah, wise. This man is time. where Aaron likes to jerk off at. <laughs> yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, so it's you know, better than my apartment. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you: hmm. there's a spot. Like, so I'm not comfortable enough like taking dumps in like the girl I'm dating's oh, like, place. Sure. So I always have to make excuses in the morning, and I have to. I go up to the twenty-second floor of their building, and I take a dump in the guest bathroom <laughs> up there. <laughs> I've been doing. I've bathroom. been doing it for months. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <sighs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> True story. At least you don't have to leave True the building. True story. Yeah, it could be worse. I'm, how did you find out about the guest bathroom? Oh, we went up there one time. Oh, she showed me. Yeah. Up, she's like, look at the view. And I'm like, look <laughs> at the bathroom that I'm going to use that. <laughs> like, you look at the view. I'm checking out this shit. This is my spot from yeah. now on. She's like, John, you never shit. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not telling. <laughs> You're like, you go up to the upstairs bathroom, don't you? <laughs> You're like, eh. <laughs> I do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> just like uh. shitting all the time. <laughs> you purposely eat more food just so you can go shit up there. <laughs> She's like, God, what a freak. <laughs> she knows where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> so weird. Uh, uh, I guess, do you have any plugs or anything? Any things you want to say? Comes out Friday? Yes, yeah, probably come out Friday. Um, Don't Tell is on Friday. Okay. Um, it was supposed to be on last Saturday, but it got canceled, so now it's Friday. Come to that. I don't know what the, if the tickets are sold out yet or not. Uh, Saturday is a uh, cool or hot waffle at uh, the brunch show at Mockingbird. That'll be good. And uh, next Thursday is the Weston show. That's nice. Rowan and I's tour beginning. Nice. And then Friday Should is... You know the po- are we going to do a podcast this week? If we can, yeah. Okay. Probably. Um, and More then like next weekend is... Probably we might be able to do it like Friday night, okay. Maybe after the show, all right? Because you don't get off till like what? I, I don't like, like nine oh, thirty ish. We can go be here. Be here. Well, we the show 10. will be over by like nine thirty, probably. Yeah, so we fine. can probably head over. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's uh, patio goofs is next Friday. Perfect. So um, I think that's it, and then we go on tour. Nice. And then I'm back in. And you're back in Knoxville. Knoxville. I will be. We will come through again on a Monday, so we might just do the podcast that Monday. Okay. Because we're driving back from Denver 
I think on a Monday or two, uh, Sunday or Monday. It depends on our show on Sunday, <laughs> but okay. I'll let you know. Sounds groovy. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at John D. Clouser. Um, yeah. As always, Aaron. I love you. I love you. This is why nobody's ever yeah. liked what we do. Yeah, I know. We're stupid. Get in there. This camera just looks stupid as fuck. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they, what are they just playing with their fingers in the air? Good Lord. All right, man. Best of luck with. I love you. Goodbye. All right, bye. <laughs>